Oh. There we go. L7 automatic fishing pole. Outstanding. Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to talk about passive fishing using the L7 trigger system. So stick around. Now in bushcraft and survival, there's two types of fishing, active and passive. An example of active fishing would be constructing some type of improvised fishing pole, like this one right here, or some type of do-it-yourself hobo reel. Either way, you're out there, you're working that shoreline, trying to make things happen. Now an example of passive fishing would be constructing a gill net or some sort of trap that does the work for you. So with the mindset of working smarter, not harder, let's go ahead and combine the two, active and passive, and create the automatic fishing pole. Now all you're gonna need here for this project is roughly a two to two and a half inch piece, a little bit smaller than thumb diameter, a Y branch, go ahead and cut this off right here and cut it off there to resemble a tent peg, or option number two, just get a straight stick anywhere from 12 to 18 inches in length. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take one side and go about three quarters of an inch upwards and make a stop cut. It's gonna cut into that piece of wood. No more than half the diameter of that piece that you chose. Then from there, all we're going to do, we're going to remove that material. Lightly tap it. It should split right down to that stop cut and break away. Now you got to just clean that up a little bit. From here, we want to go ahead and carve two spots here and here to be used as attachment points for our cordage. So all we're gonna do is go down roughly about another three quarters of an inch and go ahead and beaver chew a small piece out. I wanna do this all the way around. Taking your straight stick, do the exact same thing. Go down about three quarters and do your stop cut, no more than halfway. And then sharpen the bottom. And for your Y branch, all you gotta do is cut it off, make sure it's flush, go ahead around your top, sharpen the bottom. Let's go ahead and move on to fishing poles. You wanna go ahead and locate a branch that's the diameter of my thumb at the base. Anywhere from six to 10 foot in length, but most importantly, I want that pole to be very flexible. I like it. Now, lastly, I want to locate two Y branches. The first Y branch could be anywhere from three to four feet in length. My pole is actually going to rest inside that Y branch. On my opposite end over here, I want one more Y branch that resembles a tent stake, which is actually going to be driven into the ground to hold that pole in place. And the true beauty of this system is that it uses zero cordage. Once that fish is on, all I gotta do, remove my pole and I can bring it in manually. So looking at this L7 trigger system, this part right here will be tied to our pole 
this part right here will be tied to our fishing line or our leader. So all we gotta do is take our number 36 bank line and we'll tie a jam knot or arbor knot. So all we're gonna do, do our improvised marlin spike hitch, lay it down, and pull a piece through. And that gives us a slip knot. Taking that slip knot, place it over my L7 trigger, I'm gonna slide it down and tighten it up. Now from here, all we're gonna do is tie an overhand knot or pretzel knot. I'm gonna pass it through. Resembles that pretzel. I'm gonna slide it down. And that will jam up against that L7 trigger. You're good to go. So I'm walking through here and heading up that trail. It happened just a glance down. I almost stepped on this dude. Check him out. Good old paracord. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we got. Aha! Fish on, baby! Look at that. On paracord, too. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. L7 automatic fishing pole. Outstanding. Welcome back. Passive fishing with an automatic fishing pole is outstanding. Why? Because it does the work for you. Now, let's talk about a couple of things. At the very beginning of this video, we talked about active and passive fishing. Now, survival's real. Here's the reality. You better be doing both. You better be out there working that one side of the shoreline while you're passively fishing on the other. Now, as usual, all the gear in this video, including knives and quarters, can be found on my Amazon influencer page. I'll toss a link inside the description box. Please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, and I'm going to catch you next time.